hate it here. I hate it here. I fucking hate shopping. During the pandemic, I hate it here. I open my trunk. He needs to start cooking more with me. He's actually probably, I'm not gonna say he's a better cook than me. He has more tricks in his toolbox than I in the kitchen. So don't do that, honey, on my blog. Don't do that. Don't do that on my blog. Mr. and Mrs. Soul Food Sunday's video. This is what we make it tonight for dinner. On the menu, we have fried catfish, macaroni and cheese from scratch, greens, sweet potatoes. I don't have any vanilla extracts, so I don't know how this is gonna work. Did I name everything? Fried catfish, macaroni and cheese, greens, sweet potatoes, uh, and pineapple upside down cake for dessert. Does that sound Can't good? Can't have greens and sweet potatoes without cornbread. cornbread. I made some cornbread, cornbread the other night. We might still have some in the fridge. Well, that one on. I'm going to have to go back to the store and get the vanilla. And maybe some cornbread. Yeah, okay. We got some cornmeal. I know how to make cornbread from scratch. So let's see what no, happens. All my little stations are set up. The greens, the sweat potatoes, the fish fry station. That's upside down, but you can see how much we paid for that catfish. And the husband is now smashing garlic. I got my pineapple upside down cake shortcut station. We decided to also make a pot roast because greedy. And there's some of the artifacts we need for my macaroni and cheese. Don't judge me, I am, I am putting Velveeta in there this time. Let's go down. Season the station.
So this seemed like the appropriate time to share with you a little voiceover action for this video. Hope everybody's still doing well and staying safe at home. This macaroni and cheese recipe came together via a recipe I looked up online. It's a version or it may be a copycat of Sweetie Pie's macaroni and cheese. Heavy on the cream, heavy on the different cheeses, including Velveeta. I know that's controversial for some of you, but I wanted to try it and the results were pretty mixed for me. I didn't like the consistency when it came out, which is why I don't have a final picture of this recipe. How and ever, my kids are very critical of my mac and cheese because their auntie, she throws down, she makes it the best and they, they are not afraid to tell me that. So they were very receptive of this recipe though. They, my oldest child even said, mom, this is like really good macaroni. This is the bomb. So I was proud of it, but you won't be seeing a final product. Sorry, not sorry. However, again, do what works for you in terms of making your macaroni. Some people say Velveeta is a no-no, whatever. If your people eat it, enjoy it. And so the other thing I wanna share is, towards the end of the video, you'll hear my husband speaking to my sister. She came over for a curbside pickup and it was socially distanced through our back door. We were six feet apart from her and she picked up her little to-go plate. And again, shout out to her because she does make really good macaroni and cheese in our family. That ain't my ministry, it's hers. So I fully give her credit, but even she said it was good. So it was a whole family project. My husband made the fish. He helped me season those greens. Uh, he did the pot roast, he did the gravy. He seasoned them sweet potatoes. So basically this is a whole soul food house. So I just wanted to cook and throw down a little bit for my people. If you in the comments would like for me to make something down. specific, I got a request to do the banana pudding recipe separately and that's forthcoming in the video. So do let me know and I can't wait to share more with you from my kitchen. That's all. You need some more brown sugar, you get some more brown sugar. Fish. Fish fry. Fish in the oil. Let go. It'll come together once it cools down, though. Yeah, Thank you. You only knew you guys were making cake grandma's home. I didn't know. It's okay. <laughs> oh, shit, it's Melina. First of all, we gotta have a conversation about this fish. Mm-hmm. It's melting. It's because it's more true. A man of mine is closer to the one thousand mark. But if we were to label that, we could say he's two thousand tons. And it would make sense that Virginia cannot lift that in the same way. Let's put that cornbread down right there, the brains down there. I'm not here to argue about his overall power growth. This is, of course, a lifted feet. And it's officially noted as a feet now, or lack thereof. Hot roast over there like that, there y'all we recently grew our family to 400 subscribers strong i'm so thankful i love doing these cook with me videos i'm finally finding my stride on youtube so there's a lot more to come thank you all for rocking with me day ones and the new people everybody you all make this community great i love you stay safe and i'll see you on the next video